Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will teach you the different types of comprehension of an unseen passage. So the first type is literal comprehension and second is inferential comprehension. So without any further delay, let's get into the video. Learning to comprehend involves a complex of skills. Various writers have attempted to categorize this into three or four levels. Lanier and Davis, in summarizing comprehension skills, categorize them as literal skills, interpretive skills, critical skills, and creative skills. Now let's look at the types of comprehension. First, literal comprehension. Literal comprehension involves the processing of factual explicit stated information, recall or recognition of main ideas, detailed sequences of events, comparison, Character traits and cause and effect relationship explicitly stated in a story are examples of literal level comprehension tasks. Recall would require a child to furnish an idea or ideas stated by the experimenter. Recognition on the other hand would require the child to decide whether or not specific information was presented in the story. Now, Recall questions are usually more difficult to answer than recognition questions. A recall question calls for the student to produce response from remembering what was read. In contrast, recognition questions require the reader to select a correct answer by recognizing it. We want children to be able to comprehend literal information presented in a story. Because such comprehensions lead to higher levels, they are important for forming representations. However, we must keep in mind distinction between simple recall of information versus comprehension. So if all we measured was children's literal comprehension, our definition of comprehension as understanding ideas would not be met. Second, we have inferential comprehension. The inferential comprehension level is when the reader infers meaning that goes beyond explicitly stated information. Similar to literal comprehension, Inferential comprehension may be the inferring of main ideas, sequences, details, character traits, and so forth. The major difference is that this information is not explicitly stated. Children have to read between the lines to comprehend at an inferential level. The reader's representation of ideas goes beyond recall of explicit text information. In some instances of inferential comprehension, Readers would probably elaborate on ideas and in other, they might have to abstract them. Also, it would seem necessary that these ideas must first be integrated and then used as a basis for making inferences. Inference can take the form of either convergent or divergent thoughts. Convergent thinking is involved in such skills as identifying topic sentences, determining sequences and recalling details, it calls for some commonness of meaning or conveyance between writer and reader. Inferential comprehension is the ability to process written information and understand the underlying meaning of the text. This information is then used to infer or determine deeper meaning that is not explicitly stated. Inferential comprehension requires readers to first combine ideas, second draw conclusions, Third, interpret and evaluate information. Fourth, identify tone and voice. Then, a higher and more complex level of comprehension involves critical analysis, which requires readers to first, be critical. Second, form opinions. Third, identify author's points of view and attitudes. Fourth, identify and consider the authority of texts and their messages. And fifth, infer motives of characters and themes. And just remember that critical analysis can be introduced in very early reading. So friends, I hope you enjoyed this English lesson series and learned a lot. So you can continue studying with me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching.